Hey guys, Chris here, and welcome back to my, uh, desk, uh, all messy and all that. Because, of course, and, uh, yeah. Anyways, <coughs> welcome to another, re to a model train review. I haven't done one of these in a, quite a while. I am very excited to be reviewing the Rapido Trains Incorporated Amtrak F40PH NPCU. NHO scale. A little bit of backstory on this. Um, I bought this locomotive with my first paycheck from Dramac. As some of you may know and some of you might not know, I work for Dramac as a coach cleaner, cleaning the Capital Corridor trains here in Sacramento. So, I bought an Amtrak California NPCU with my first paycheck. I wanted something special with my first paycheck and so I chose this because I am cleaning Amtrak trains here, here in Sacramento and specifically chose 90225 for that reason which I will show you the reason in a minute. So I've only taken this out and messed with it a little bit for like an hour maybe just on my test track I don't have a layout in HO scale up here in Sacramento but uh, <clears throat> I did uh, change some of the CVs CV values a little bit um, now out of the box this does have momentum um, quite a bit more than what I would like so I went and lowered the momentum quite a bit and also I made it sound louder and uh, changed the uh, road number actually I was quite surprised that my Zephyr my Digitrack Zephyr was actually able to uh, program this locomotive with sound because this does not have enough power to program my N scale F59 PHI with, with sound. <clears throat> it doesn't have enough power to do it for some reason. And that has a tsunami decoder, a tsunami sound decoder. This has an ESU decoder. It was easily able to program this. I was quite surprised by it. So, yes, the Zephyr will program this locomotive quite easily. Which is nice. Because this is a very good programmer. This is great for programming. It is so simple to program with this. Literally just program mode, you can change the local number. CV number, enter in CV read, enter in what you want it to the value to be in CV write. It's that easy. With the uh, thro with the handheld throttles, it's kind of a little bit more difficult than that. But this is extremely simple to program with. So, that being said, yeah, test track. <clears throat> so let's get into unboxing. Now this was covered in uh, plastic wrap, the wrapping. I t took that off already. So if you bought yours new, it'll be wrapped up in plastic. I bought this from trainworld.com for 230, I believe was the cost. I have my invoice right here. $249.99. So $250 DCC and sound from trainworld.com. And it came within about three or four days. Although I had to. It came in on Friday and I ordered it Thursday. So two days it arrived with the standard shipping 
It actually did, would not fit in my mailbox, so I had to go pick it up from the post office, and I ended up blowing a tire, and yeah. Anyways, let's get into the unboxing. So we have this nice uh, box right here. There's box art. This is amazing how they do the box art on these. And they are an official licensee of Amtrak. So let's open it up. It's a very thick box too. So within the box, I'm just going to set that there. You have your exploded parts diagram. You also have a little sheet of decals which you don't even need to use at all um, because yeah this already has all its decals on it already I mean it doesn't even have the F doesn't even the real thing doesn't even have the F for front on it so you don't even need that <clears throat> a little card here for advertisement Interesting. Repeato F40PH advertisement. The other Repeato F40PH, pretty much. Then you have your manual. On this side, it's the NPCU manual. On this side, it's the modernized F40PH manual. This is a full book. 18 pages each for each. Uh, model for each for MPCU 18 for modernized F40 PH and Jason Sharon from Rapido Trains really loves um yeah I mean you pause it and read that that is hilarious and uh <clears throat> And that right there, especially with the pancakes and break in, that is hilarious. Also, this is powered. There's the whole um, explanation why it's powered in in a look mode that is not powered in real life. <clears throat> and more and more information and stuff especially this headlight goes on headlight goes off headlight goes on headlight goes off that's all <laughs> all your functions right there change the CVs if you want to change the horn sound or change it from E bell to air bell this actually came with the air bell as default. When I got it out of the box, it had the air bell with the K5LA number four. Um, you end up having to add 64 to whatever number you want for the horn for it to have air bell. If you just want E bell, just whatever on here. So, anyways, uh, yeah, it does have a Doppler horn, which I will be showing later on. All this stuff. I did ch turn up the master volume to full volume, so it's going to be a lot louder. The warranty. This is hilarious at the ending. From this section on is hilarious. Jason Tron, if you're watching this, oh my god, you're hilarious. But anyways, the acknowledgments and all that. I didn't. I do not want to mess with awesome slow speed thingy because I do not have a layout with a main line that I can have lots of room. 
So anyways, there's that half. I'm not going to go over the modernized F40PH because this is not the modernized F40PH. That in the box. Then you have this sheet of foam here protecting it. And then you have the engine itself. Now the reason why I chose 90225 is because it is named Sacramento, which is where I work. You have no parts to add. This has everything on it already and nothing else in the rest of the box. I mean, this is a thick box. I mean, Rapido. You really know how to package your locomotives so they don't get damaged. And also so that your boxes hold up quite well. I mean, I have boxes that haven't even held up a couple days of use. So, we have the blister package here. Um, you just slide. This is kind of hard to do one-handed. Eh, so I need a little extra hand, I guess. This is where being an octopus would probably be helpful. Anyways, you have little foam pieces. And there should be, yeah, there's a sheet of plastic protecting the roof. And there's going to be a sheet of plastic protecting the bottom as well. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and set all these aside, set my test track in, get started with the locomotive. Okay, technical difficulties aside, let's actually move some stuff around on my desk here so I can move stuff. Without everything falling off, hopefully. And, and set my phone right here. The track power on, you have your ground lights. I mean, track power off, track power on. You also have number boards on, but those can also be turned off. Let me actually grab the manual so I can actually know what I'm talking about. You can turn on and off the number boards with uh, function 16. So, oops, you can't even see it. My bad. Using function 16 on and off on number boards. So, this locomotive does not have a prime mover. It's no longer a locomotive. It's a cab car. So, they went in, actually, instead of having the sound of a prime mover, they added the sound of the air conditioner. In fact, my air conditioner is running in the background, so I'll turn that off. So, we start that, the sound of the air conditioner with function 8. Now, on the real 90225, the air conditioner is a uh, food bar. Pretty much. So, with the, so the functions, with far starting with zero is the headlight for the front. Nice dimming headlight. We have function two is the horn, or function one is the bell. And the strobe lights come on. You have your horn. And then function three would be the Doppler horn if the train was moving. If it's not moving, it doesn't do anything. Function four is to go in and out of standby. Function five is getting in and out of run. That's for head end power. Now it will not do anything on the model here, but it does do it if you push four and you don't push five or don't push four again. The engine will not move. 
So I've just pushed four. The engine's not moving. I have it in like almost full power. Push one for five. And it starts moving. Function six is ditch lights. And when the horn is, goes, the uh, ditch lights start flashing. For about a second after the horn stops, it, they stop flashing. Function seven is dim headlights. Eight is air conditioner on and off. Nine is the front marker lights on and off. Function 10 is strobe lights, but they cycle on and off by themselves anyways. Or you can just turn them on or off. Function 11 is the sounds of doors opening and closing. Function 12 is Hostler slash switching light. It's on the rear. Which then it's just a small one. Function 15 is the brakes. I have it set up to go automatically. So when the train starts moving it makes a sound. Function 16 is number boards. On and off. Function 17 is an arrival announcement. It's quite lengthy. Same with the uh, departure announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be arriving at our next stop shortly. I just stopped it at that. Uh, departure. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to welcome you aboard Amtrak today. Yeah, it's pretty lengthy. It's like almost a minute long each. Going into function 20 is the spitter valve slow. Uh, function 21 is spitter valve fast. Uh, 22 is spitter valve on shutdown. Then 23 is uh, brake release on and off. And that's what makes it automatic. That's all the uh, functions that I know of. Unless there's more. Okay, function 24 is uh, interesting. What the hell is this gigawatt? What the hell is a gigawatt? <laughs> okay. I did not know what, what functions that was. It's not in the manual at all. And it's just interesting. Oh my god. That is hilarious. Anyways, let's get on with the Doppler horn and other fun and functions while moving.
115. Okay, so uh, I forgot. We're ready. Uh, yeah, 15 is break. It's running. I'm just holding it with my finger. Okay, so let me go and turn on Function 23. While the doors are open, the engine does not move. Brake pretty much. What it should do is brake squealing, but yeah. Anyways, there are other horns you can set on, but I like this horn. Oh, hostler light in the rear. That's right there. Uh, let me look up the number again. Function 12. Just a little subtle light. I was looking at the details. This is extremely detailed. Let me actually turn off the sound. The I mean, you have num lit number boards, uh, ground lights. You have every brake pipe. This is also the. You also have the. Uh, Okay, where's my little screwdriver to point things out with? You have the uh, cable for the speed recorder, both on the front truck and the rear truck. The Fox Wolf. Every grab iron is on it. Every thing is perfect on it. Full detailed interior cab. You even have uh, the controls on the control stand too. Full truck details. Actually, don't think I've seen any model manufacturers with the little holes in it like that in real life. Or that, or there in real life. I mean, turning it underneath it. You have every single brake line and cable and all that that's on the real thing. In Rapido, if you're watching this, oh my god, the amount of detail you guys put into this. I mean, high, high quality. Detail on this, I would compare to a brass model. Uh, reliability of running I would compare it to a Broadway limited let me get this let me get it up to the slow as I can get it moving okay. you can look at it just creep smooth no herky jerky No herky jerky at all. Look how smooth that is running. Extremely smooth. Very nice, Rapido. Very nice.
me to just end this video here in a moment. I mean, every detail, right down to the little bug cones on the horn, if it'll focus. The little cones on for, on the horn for keeping the bugs out. And every detail, down to the little hook. Uh, what are those called? Lifting eyes. The air conditioner actually has its fan inside. Although I you can't really see it too well on camera. But you can kind of see it. I mean, everything on this model is perfect. I love this thing. Anyways guys, thank you guys for watching this video, this review. It's been a long time since I've reviewed a model. Or reviewed anything even. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next time.